Hi, I'm Randy Smythe, and I'm going to help you run faster. Weight training for speed should be athletic, balanced, and explosive. The goal is fast firing nerves, not big slow muscle. Just look at the action of sprinting. At top speed, your foot delivers all your strength into the ground in about eight one hundredths of a second. It's all connected, all wired together, all synchronized. There is no independent action of hamstrings or glutes or quadriceps. Sprinting is a cycling motion of bouncing from the left leg to the right. The job of weight training is to make the action of sprinting more powerful, as little time on the ground as possible, as smooth as possible. Prepare for your 60 minutes in the weight room with movements such as dumbbell deadlifts. The goal is to alert nerves and muscles as to what's coming next. Start with the most explosive demand on the body, from step-ups into jump-ups. The highest neural demand is hopping up on a box. These must be done when you are fresh, so that your explosive action becomes habit. Pitcher squats are essential. They make you deliver force one leg at a time with the legs wide apart in the sprint position. Reverse lunges teach you to eccentrically stop gravity's pull with the legs in the sprint position. Romanian deadlifts are a building block of speed. They develop the entire backside chain from leg to back by teaching balance with one leg on the ground. Bow tie jumps are highly athletic emphasizing explosion off the ground just as in sprinting. To run faster, you need kettlebell swings. Look at how the back and legs work rhythmically together. It's clear that arms and shoulders help you run faster. Kettlebell snatches connect the action of the upper body and lower body as you thrust the weight up. Arms and chest strength are critical for speed, but you need athleticism, not brute bulk. <laughs> 